So over the past 15 years, I've been predominantly applying my uh, evolutionary theories in the consumption area. But more recently, I've argued that we don't have to stop at consumer behavior. Everything that we do in business, whether we are financial traders or entrepreneurs or interviewers in, a, in an interview, say personnel psychology, all participants in the business sphere are biological agents that are under the purview of biological forces. So you can't study anything in business if you completely ignore our biology. So let me give you a few examples. So uh, a recent study was done where, the, where these um, scholars looked at uh, the, the relationship between entrepreneurship and testosterone. So they took a bunch of uh, MBA students, male MBA students, and they measured their basal levels of testosterone and how entrepreneurial they were. And exactly as they predicted, men who score higher on entrepreneurial drive were precisely those men that have a higher basal testosterone level. Because testosterone level is ultimately also related to risk-taking behavior. Risk-taking behavior is, a, is, of course, correlated to entrepreneurship. So here's an example where you see that you know, how entrepreneurial I am is ultimately rooted in a hormonal reality. And you could extend this argument across endless other fields of business. So you know, nothing in business could ever make sense if we completely negate the fact that ultimately we are biological beings.